Hello, Colas. Welcome back to Viva Barca. And welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We are going to begin with this good report claiming that Barca will register all players before our first game against Getafe tomorrow Sunday. We are going to discuss on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about Dembele, as we are going to be discussing on the reason behind the delay in Dembele's transfer to PS3. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. According to a recent report from Sport, Barcelona have sent all the documents of the last lever to La Liga, which includes the transfer of Frank Kessier and Ousmane Dembele. As a result of that, the team from Catalonia will now be allowed to register all players who are in the squad at the moment, even those who have been discarded by the management but believe can contribute something until next August 31st. This has been made possible after Barcelona reached an agreement to enter into a partnership with Libero Football Finance AG and private investment advisors NIPA Capital BV for Brick Birch Invest. As part of the deal, the team will have a capital influx of around 120 million euros and Barcelona plan to use this fund for player registrations. This means Xavi will have all the players available for the La Liga opener and there is now room for the team to make new signings. Given the window they have at the moment, Barcelona want to immediately close all the registrations as they do not want to drag the matter to the last minute since they know all the requirements are already being met. In the current lot, the renewed Inaki Pena, Ronald Araujo, Alejandro Barde, Marcos Alonso and Sergio Roberto will be entered while new signings Oreo Romeo, Ilkay Gundogan and Inigo Martinez will be there as well. This comes in as a positive result for Barcelona after it emerged that the likes of Inigo Martinez and Marco Salonso were likely to be unregistered ahead of the Getafe clash. So what about the rest? Now it must be noted that Barcelona already have 12 players registered in La Liga, but as part of the now the new lot, 8th Abdei will now enter the list and he will get the first team number. At the same time, however, it remains to be seen what Barcelona decide with Sejino Des and Clement Lenglet. Their defensive duo is certainly out of plan and the club have had them on the market for quite a long time. Meanwhile, Barcelona particularly in a hurry to register Gundogan in La Liga as the midfielder was at risk of being released if he had not been registered before the start of the league. Of course, we keep on getting the drama always about registration of players back to back to back seasons. And of course, yesterday we were talking about how just 13 players so far have been registered and of course... The new signings haven't been registered. The players who renewed your contracts towards the end of last season haven't been registered as well. But from this new report, everything is being assured that Football Club Barcelona will register every player before La Liga kicks off for Barca tomorrow Sunday at 8, 8, 8 p.m. Central European time when we play against Getafe. Of course, we do hope so. We just hope so because... It's been really frustrating that for the past couple of seasons, um, Barcelona have always had this issue of registering players late and late to an extent where not even all the players are being registered on the day of March day one. Like last season, we quite remember Koundé, who was the new signing back then. 
was not registered and he was very very disappointed he had to wait for about two weeks before he was registered same as the other year before last we, we there were some players who did not play because of registration issues and of course that shouldn't be something that barcelona should keep doing and that is why it will be of utmost importance for the club you know to yeah for the club to ensure that they register all these new signings. They register all those players renew, um, renewed contracts. Talking about the players like Araujo, Pena, Alonso, Roberto, who did extend their contracts the other day, the other last year, and of course, which to like to ensure that when La Liga kicks off, we have all our players available to avoid such a scenario where we start the league. This player is not there because of registration. Like, oh my God, where? How many club does that? How many club does that? We understand that financial issues have crippled this club, but we shouldn't take it as a habit all the time. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Why Ousmane Dembélé move from Barca to Paris Saint-Germain is imminent. There is said to be a dissent between the two teams, which happens to be the only reason why the transfer is being delayed. After Dembélé told Barca that he wishes to move to PSG, the teams involved began catering their move for the Frenchman for 50 million. Now, according to Gerard Romero, PSG wanted to pay the aforementioned fee in installments, and Barca are totally against the idea. This is why the move has been delayed. In the last few hours, reports have emerged that PSG are losing patience in the deal since Barca are yet to authorize the transfer. The report added that if Barca entity does not do the needful in the next 24 hours, PSG would pull out of that deal and would approach Dembele as a free agent next year. At the moment, while the agreement is finalized, the terms of payment as called by Romero seem to be holding the transfer. It seems as if PSG offering installments rather than an upfront amount, something that Barca are looking for in this deal, given that they need the financial boost urgently. From PSG's perspective though, manager Luis Enrique recently admitted that while the operation is almost done, Dembele is not officially their player, he said. He is not yet a PSG player. He won't be available tomorrow. 99% of the operation is done, but not 100% yet, he said in a press conference. Another worry that seems to be stalling the operation is the demand for Dembele's representatives. As per the terms agreed when he signed his contract last year, Barca were obligated to divide the sum that they will receive from PSG in half with Dembele. This means a total of 25 million should be paid to the player, but Barca are of the idea that he has not met certain objectives to collect that full amount. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.